Hi friends, today is going to be my bullet journal setup for the month of December. Now, before we get to December, we must go back and go to the beginning of November and see how we did. Didn't really add a whole lot here. I did film November in the middle of the month, so most of this was already here. Did I do anything for Nano? Did I hit my goals? No, definitely did not. Didn't do a darn thing. Nothing done here. All blank. No things. None. Just moving. November reading. I did read some books. I did read some of my TBRs, some new releases, uh, my list of what I read. I haven't filled out my favorites yet go to my weeks, which I did pretty okay on. I did fill out some things here and there. I did use my uh, week of for Thanksgiving, the planner of it. Can't really tell because I didn't mark a bunch off, but I did actually use it. And I did put in a habit tracker. Me who said at the beginning of this journey, I'm not a person who uses a habit tracker. And then yet I ended up putting in a habit tracker and kind of sort of somewhat used it during the month, but I have been using it. And that gets us to December. For December, I did some scrap scrapbooking paper that I have that was green and red. Felt like it went on theme, even though the pattern doesn't really go with Christmas. It was or the right color. And a sticker from Happy Planner, and then the other stickers are from Planning with Kay. For my month, I have a lot of birthdays on here. There's five in December so far, but there's also a family Christmas on here. And I really liked the way that this one turned out. We then have our holiday favorites bucket list. These are not populated yet, but I will be working on those over the next few days. I need to still decide what I want to do. I also need to figure out my movie marathon and what weekend I want to do that or week. Who knows? Holiday favorites bucket list, things I want to do. They will probably be related to the things that are on the sticker. So maybe baking cookies, maybe decorated tree, or maybe this one will be decorated the tree and that'll be decorating something else. Maybe hot chocolate, make a gingerbread house. I'm not really sure yet, but there's going to be things on there. And the movie marathon... I have space for 12 movies. It'll probably be a week's worth, as I said, but I don't really know because I don't know that I could watch them all in a row. That's a lot. We then have this holiday plans where we just have a spread of different boxes that I can fill out for different things that I have going on for the holiday, whether it is family gatherings or to-do lists or shopping lists or a menu or whatever it is that I have. I wanted to make sure that I have enough space for everything to be all in one place. We then have a page for the Reindeer Readathon. This is taking place for the entire month of December and is hosted by Break Even Books. And I will link that in the description box down below for you if you want to check that out. So even though this is technically the 1st of December, I do believe you can still join in if you want to. I'll also be doing the Tis the Season-a-thon readathon, and it is taking place December 5th to the 11th. There's five prompts and then also a bingo board, and I think you can either do all the props or just the bingo board or a combination of the two. And I'm gonna try to do hit all of these with as few books as possible. I do believe this is just running on Instagram, so I will link the Instagram account down for down below for you as well. And then I have my December reading, just a one page spread with new releases, arcs that I need to read for January and a haul and a space for books read and my favorites of the month. I didn't do a TBR because I didn't feel like I needed to have one here and then here and then also over here as well. We then have our YouTube advent. You are on day one and there's going to be 24 days total. This has 25 spots on it, but... I will be taking one of them off of the bottom because originally I was going to do 25 days, but I'm only going to do 24 and then I'm going to take the rest of the month off and then put in a habit tracker. You know, those things that I'm not doing. I don't think I will draw another one out like this. I do think I prefer one that's printed from Jess, uh, Jashi Curran. So I will be probably showing you that next month, but I, I drew it, but 
you know, I used this one and I didn't really love it, but I'm going to use it because I already drew it in. We didn't get to our weeks. This is one that I brought back from the week, the month before because I enjoyed it. And it's got three days on this side, four days on this side, and then our tasks to film to edit and the admin spot. And then this one I also brought back from last month. I really like these boxes where they're smaller and then the bigger boxes for decoration and then the tasks to edit. The next spread is a new spread that I really enjoyed, but I messed the week up. I put the wrong week on here. Uh, so I did month, four boxes on the top, three boxes on the bottom, and then four boxes for task lists and things. I wrote in Christmas Day and Christmas, and that's not the right week. And I had already done it before I dated it, so I decided to just leave it in and then go back and forth across them so that I didn't have to go over everything, all of the dates, and just, just finagled with it. It's fine. And then I went back to this layout again because I really like it. I like the way that it is shaped and the line work and I think it looks really good. I do have some new things I wanna try next month as far as layouts, but I don't think I'm gonna do those with tabs. I think it's just gonna be a full page, so that's gonna be different. Um, but this is only my third month and I've been enjoying them, um, but I do wanna try something different. And then I just have a January notes and a reminders and a brain dump. Will I use any of this? Probably not. I didn't really use it the month before. Well, I drew in the habit tracker, but you know, not really. What am I going to put here? Who knows? So that is my month of December planner. We can do another quick flip through for you. If you have any questions about any of the products or materials that we use, most of the boxes are Happy Planner and most of the decorations are from Planning with Kay. And, but if you have any questions on anything other than that, you can definitely ask and I will help you out to the best of my ability. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, which includes Advent because I will be posting for the next 24 days, then I'll be taking the rest of the month off. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!